Bonnet Park, an essential for the Westside community, has seen families play since 1936. Donated by the Bonnet family, this park serves as one of the few open spaces on the west side. Recently, Bonnet Park, under the canopy of its large, shady sycamore trees, hosted a ribbon-cutting ceremony to celebrate the completion and the reopening of the park after its renovation project. All right, Bonnet Park is open for business. Yay! Bonnet Park, the only park on the west side of Santa Barbara, went through a five-month renovation project that started in October 2021. The last renovation in the park was done in 2016. This recent renovation project had two parts, park improvements and the creation of underground stormwater treatment facility. The project's design and development began three years ago. The Parks and Recreation Department and the Creeks Division collaborated on this renovation as the Creeks Division was looking for a chance to create an underground stormwater treatment to improve water quality, and the Parks and Recreation Department was beginning to look into refreshing and updating the park itself to better accommodate community use. Funding for the renovation was provided by the Community Development Block Grant Program, La Crumbra Foundation, in the city of Santa Barbara. The stormwater improvement project was funded by hotel visitors through Measure B. Today, we celebrate with the West Side neighborhood the reopening of the new $1.9 million worth of improvement to Bonnet Park. The second portion of the project is the addition of the stormwater filtration system to improve water quality of the water that flows into Old Mission Creek from the neighborhood and eventually making its way into the ocean. In 2003, the City Creeks Division restored riparian habitat, improved water quality with bioswales, and enhanced open space in the park. First off, we've never done a project like this at the Creeks Division. We've done a lot of demonstration projects like uh, the, the paver projects in the streets and the, and the sidewalks and things like that. Um, but we haven't done any of these underground chamber type projects where you're infiltrating stormwater under a play field or a parking lot, that, something like that. So it's pretty new for us. And that's why we did it. We wanted to use it as a demonstration project for the community as well as treat you know, almost six acres of urban runoff. We've just never done one here and doing one in the parks, they've done that in other places and it's a kind of a cool thing because you've got a dual use. You know, you can play on the field and you've got water quality treatment. So other water quality treatment uh, devices sometimes require a, quite a bit of real estate in order to do it. But this, you've, you've got a dual use and so that's nice. A new addition at Bonnet Park is the ADA approved facilities like this wheelchair ramp behind me and more accessible pathways. The addition of facilities that are compliant with the Americans with a Disability Act allows for this park to be truly enjoyed by everyone. New additions also include new picnic tables along Old Mission Creek, reservable picnic sites, barbecue grills and coal receptacles, trash and recycling containers, renovated bathrooms, streetscape fencing, new grass turf on the sports field, and irrigation and landscaping. It's really important in this neighborhood because, as you can see, it's a relatively densely packed neighborhood in terms of how many people live here in, you know, per acre. And so the outdoor spaces are even more important because this is where you don't have a back or a front yard. This is where the kids come and this is where the, the kids meet, where they play soccer and they play basketball. And, and you know, and being outside is, is such a huge benefit, especially what we've gone through with COVID. The kids still have the masks on in school. So this is just a, a, a fabulous park. It's beautifully done and it's just wide open. There's just, you can see it from everywhere. So it's, it's a fabulous place for this neighborhood to have. I have to say that what I really hope most of all is that through the summer, spring, fall season, that the neighborhood's able to come out and enjoy being outside and being with their families. It's been a rough two years for many people, so reopening this park, the goal is, is that people will be happy and be able to come out and, and rejoice that they can be outside. It's, it's such a cool location because not, not only is it a park, you know, big open space, uh, there's a playground, there's a creek, uh, there's a boys and girls club, you know, it's, this whole place is just an outlet for com community members, family, kids to come together and, and play and, and be happy outdoors. For the renovation, stormwater would flow untreated into Old Mission Creek. 
The improved water quality will not only benefit people downstream enjoying the ocean, but improve wildlife habitat as well. The Westside community has now gotten a renovated park that will better serve the neighborhood and the young children who will grow up playing in this park for years to come. We used to live in this neighborhood actually, and what excites me is just this, this broad open space. It's got a multiple, it's a, a, all sorts of uses. Obviously there's a playground back there for little kids. There's a wide open grass space for whatever kind of sport you want to play. Beautiful little kind of picnic areas over here. You know, real basketball courts with you know glass backboards and, and uh, great looking hoops. So uh, there's just so much to offer here, it's, it's, and it's just out here for everybody to use.